Hey Diecast community, Jack here with Jack's Diecast Customs. We're temporarily using the back of the milling company's building for our garage. Miller's Milling Company at that. There's old Glory. There's the parts truck for Jack's Diecast Garage. Well, here's just a little bit of the back of the workbench. Them three treasure hunts right there. Some of what's first started all this mess years ago and collecting the Hot Wheels. Here's a few uh, cards I picked up at Dollar General the other day for some builds. Now I found that one there. Of course, I uh, watching one of Paco's videos. And he said he really liked them. Then after watching one of Pete's videos, Old Man Diecast, I think he's into them there Camaros. These are some old ones that I had in a box sitting in here in my office. An old Mustang Hunter. I think he likes some Mustangs. Yeah. And oh Andrew with Maple Leaf. He's like, hey, get in on the four horsemen build. So I've been trying to find some of them. There's some matchboxes. I need to fill them pegs up for the Misfits builds. I tell you, the Hot, hot Wheels around Northwest Arkansas is kind of scarce. Went to Walmart earlier and doggone shelves, pegs are just all but empty. Down back when the boys was little, we made this little diorama for them for a county fair project. course I had to have the milling company you gotta have big silos and another big got a big old Pete he's weighing out so he knows how much he weighs before he heads on down the road and you gotta have a dumb dumb when you go to the bank And after watching uh, Paco's live deal last night, doggone couldn't find a center punch. Found one at Lowe's this evening. Got me some Dremel parts. And this here project under that little red tarp, that's probably going to be my first actual custom. But we can't reveal what it is. Until it's a lot closer to being done. We're just going to say it's not a Hot Wheels. But I tell you, I was at Hot Walmart earlier. Lydia and I. couldn't find a cotton pick and man you can't find any old school cars at all but hey I found this cool ride yeah I'm working with all these big trucks like I got 
I seen that rascal and I thought, oh yeah, I know exactly what's going to make that dude look bad to the bone. Yep. You guessed it. You're going to have a big rig ride. That big rig ride is going to have to have some big wheel rubber. Now tell me that don't look bad to the bone. Anyhow, that's just a little bit of what's going on on my workbench. Not to mention, hey, I tell you. Well, that's what happens when you're generic little foam stand decides to take a crash dive right in front of you. Sorry about that, guys. But hey, it happens. You fall, you get right back up, and if you don't learn from it, well, you're just going to fall again. But hey, check this out. I've been watching James at Hewitt Hot Wheels. Took me a minute to figure out what he kept talking about stickers and getting in on them drawings. Well, I finally figured it out. I went and got me some stickers. Not to mention, hey, this uh, workbench here kind of looks a little bare. So I need some of them, I need some of you guys' YouTube channel stickers. There's my second one. And I don't know, it's going to be kind of like, uh, if I get in on that Pink's 2023 build, and as Jay would say, let everybody start talking smack. Well... I'm hoping that this little sticker car right here is going to get that super bird brought down from Missouri to northwest Arkansas. So James, if you watch this, you be sure to spin that little spinner just right. Because I'd like to have that purple little super bird, just saying. But anyway, that was my first piece of mail from another diecast brother James Hewitt I think I've got one coming from Rodney and I don't know oh my yeah hey I tell you, you got to start, uh, you got to start preparing for the Hot Wheels customs. So when I went to town today, I found myself in the Hobby Lobby. And oh my gosh. Let the games begin. We've got music wire. We've got brass tubing. We've got some fancy sandpaper. We got some more aluminum tubing. We 
we got some of that quick cure epoxy and resin. some of them little measuring cups because you know I can't wait on Amazon I got built I got a pink slip 2023 little hot rod to build I got me some super fun paint brushes oh man I can't hoop I can't remember who I was watching the other night. Man, I'll have to go back and remember who that was. But they was like, hey, you get them little car. Man, who was that? That's bugging the far out of me now. Anyway, I'll have to give credit where credit's due when I go back and watch that video and find out who it was I was watching. It's like, hey, you get these car protectors, and you'll pay over $20 online for these things. And sure enough, hey, found them at Hobby Lobby, $6.99. Got them discounted down. Originally, $9.99. And they had about six or eight of these dudes on the shelf. So I'll probably be going back and picking up a few more of them. Because, you know, hey, there's going to be a lot of cars between the, the Four Horsemen, the Misfit Builds. Got to get in on the fun. Of course, I've got some of them little, kind of remind me of booger suckers when we were kids, but. The little bulb on it ain't as quite as big. Got some of them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And for all of us that want to pretend like we're dentists, but we ain't, we got to have O's to work on cars. Because a lot of you guys, I've been watching videos, y'all use them fine, precision, Instrumenter tools right there. Then I had to go and get me one of these here rascals. Because some of you guys has got them in y'all's paint booths. I ain't got a paint booth yet. But it's coming. So I made a nice little haul from Hobby Lobby. After watching y'all's videos, I've had a whole mess of these little rascals that I've been saving up to build some little jumper wires and little alligator clips. Well, when you got a whole mess of these rascals, you know what them's good for? Well, let me just show you. You go to your local grocery store, and when you're going down shopping for groceries, well, you end up running across stuff like this. Yep, you guessed it. Doggone shish kebab stick. But, guess what? That dude's a little too high. So, what you do... When you start thinking outside the box, you start cutting them rascals down to they're about that tall. Yep. You guessed it. And then they start looking like that. And then you get another one. And another one. And another one. Well... Until you start running out of big sticks, you find some of those little bitty smaller ones at Hobby Lobby. And they've got one of these other alligator clips. 
but them's just way too big to fit in. So we'll have some more of those. Oh yeah. Had to have them little rascals when I was at Lowe's. Go on the end of my Dremel. Because someone said, hey, I have no use for this rascal. Well, guess what? It didn't have the chuck on the end, or the little collet sleeve. So that's what I picked up today. They didn't want it. And it got passed down to me. So I rigged that dude up on the end of my Dremel. So everybody, well that's just a little bit of what's going on in Jack's diecast garage. And I got lots to do to get this mess organized and get all this cleared out of the way so we can get that Pink's 20 23 custom sent off so that'll be coming up soon anyway we'll catch y'all on the flip side and keep them making them die cast customs later <laughs>